Satnam, I'm Yogi Gems. I'm a Kundalini Yoga teacher. One of the reasons Kundalini Yoga is so potent in today's times is that it works directly with the nervous system. So I don't know if you've noticed, but there's an immense amount of change and uh, transformation happening out there. There's a lot going on in the world and we need to be very resilient and very strong in order for our nervous systems to cope with it. Kundalini Yoga gives us the tools to help develop that strength and that's exactly what we're doing in today's Kundalini Yoga Kriya. We're working with strengthening the nervous system to hold this immense change that's happening both outside and inside. So let's bring our palms together, give them a good rub and bring your prayer mudra into the heart center. Nice inhale, tall up the spine. Exhaling to relax the shoulders down and away from the ears. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, chin tucks in. And we'll inhale to tune in. If you're new to the mantras, just listen in for now. Om Guru Dev Namo. Jugad Gure Name, Sat Gure Name, Siri Guru Deve Name, Ad Gure Name, Jugad Gure Name, Sat Gure Name, Siri Guru Deve Name, Ad Gure Name, Jugad Gure Name, Sat Gure Name, Siri Guru Deve Name, Deep Inhale. Hold that breath in as you invite your higher self to guide you through this practice today to keep you safe from injury, keep you focused. And exhaling, relaxing the hands down to the knees in Gyan Mudra, touching tips of index fingers to tips of thumbs, just allowing those mantras to settle for a moment in the body. Now the most effective way, the most effective tool that we have to work with the nervous system is the pranayama. So we're going to be inhaling for four sniffs and exhaling for four sniffs. So it's exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, eyes at third eye point. Keeping the spine long. This breath pattern is helping us to activate the neutral mind, activate the meditative mind, which is exactly the kind of attitude we need when it comes to dealing with all of life's crazy dramas. Good, deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you squeeze Mulbund. That means you're squeezing anus and sex organs, pulling the navel in, and will feel, sense, imagine the energy moving from the tip of the tailbone all the way up through the spine to the crown of the head. Hold it, squeeze it, lift up tall through the spine. 
and exhale, relax and release. And just notice the immediate effect of that pranayam on the nervous system. Notice how it just brings us into a state of presence, of clarity and awareness. Let's rest with that for a moment. And take a deep inhale. Exhale. Good, so Kundalini Yoga, Kriya for the nervous system. Let's begin. The arms come straight out to the sides, the shoulders are relaxed, the arms are straight, and the thumbs are pulled away from the hands. So there's a 90 degree angle in the thumb. Now we're opening and closing the fingers, and you want to get your fingertips to smack against the heel of the hand, if possible. And we're gonna do a breath of fire with this movement. Good, so that's our panting breath through the nose. Remember to keep the thumbs pulling away from the hands. Good, keep the shoulders relaxed and keep going. Now this is challenging. This really challenges the brain, which of course is the seat of the central nervous system. This is the powerhouse. We're really getting into the brain with this movement and it's uncomfortable. The brain throws up all kinds of tantrums and it's our job in this Kundalini Yoga Kriya to get through it. So pant and breathe. Use your breath of fire. That's it, you're doing really well. Do your best. It starts to get very uh, glunky in this movement. Just do your best, move through it. We're starting to work with the plasticity of the brain and it takes effort. It is a challenge, keep going, keep going. This is your chance. Just keep opening and closing the hands. You're doing really well. Good, now turn the palms down. So you've still got your thumbs extended out and we're still opening and closing the hands with the breath of fire. That's it, massage the brain, get in there. It's not comfortable, it throws up all kinds of challenges, but this is your opportunity to strengthen the nervous system. And when the nervous system is strong, we can handle all kinds of stress from the outside and we can handle all kinds of elevated energies from the inside. Stay with it, you're nearly there, you're nearly there. Go with it. <sighs> And inhale, stretch the arms out. Palms are facing down, fingers are spread wide, more band pulls, hold that breath, squeeze, stretch from fingertip to fingertip, hold. And exhale, float the hands down, well done. And just feel that energy moving through the body. The hands in Gyan Mudra on the knees, the eyes remain at the third eye point. And you're just observing the state of mind, the state of body, the state of nervous system. Feel it. Inhaling deep. Exhaling fully. Good, now in Kundalini Yoga teachings, the thumb represents the ego. We're gonna keep the ego under wrap wraps now, hold it inside your fist. The arms are straight out to the side. We're gonna inhale up and over the head, exhale out. Inhale, alternate cross, exhale out. That's it, powerful movement, powerful breath. Now you want to squeeze the fist because we want to keep the ego really in control here. The ego is that little mind, that little voice in the head that tells us that we can't do things. It tells us that we should give up now. It tells us that things are too stressful and we need to back down. No, this exercise, this Kundalini Yoga Kriya teaches us to rise above that little voice, that little mind, the kind of, if you might call it lower self or the, um, the lower vibration self. Good, use your breath, be strong, keep it going, nice and full with the movement. That's it, feel it in the shoulders, feel this energy moving. It's also great to clear out the auric field, to clear out the arc line, that's our halo around the head. So you're polishing up your radiance with this. 
And it is true, if you notice Kundalini yogis or yogis who've been practicing Kundalini for some time, they have a very special glow about them. That's because they have a very strong nervous system and they have a very strong auric field and arc line. And it's this kind of exercise that works on polishing that up. It gives you charisma, it gives you a really lovely light, this internal radiance. Good, stay with it, keep going, do your best. If this is really challenging for you, of course take a break, but keep imagining that you're doing it. Intention is everything in Kundalini Yoga. <laughs> Nearly there, don't give up now, you can do it. See it through to the finish line. And bring the arms out to the sides, take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you squeeze the fists, squeeze Mulbund, lengthen up through the spine, tall, stretch up, hold it, and exhale. Float the hands down to Gyan Mudra on the knees. Just relax. Allow that energy to integrate. Feel it. Feel this strength, this very potent energy in the body. You're stirring up an immense strength in the nervous system. You're opening up the nervous system to receive more energy, receive more prana. Take a deep inhale. Exhale fully. Right, now we're going to bring the legs straight out in front. And we've got our arms parallel to the floor with the palms turned down. We're exhaling forward and inhaling up to uh, neutral. Exhaling forward, inhaling up. Good, now as you move, you want to keep your navel really strong. This is to protect the lower back. You also want to keep the feet flexed so your toes are pointing towards you. And this helps to activate the life nerve in the back of the legs, otherwise known as the hamstrings. That's it, exhaling forward, inhaling up. When we have a strong life nerve, when we have a strong and flexible hamstring, it keeps us vital, it keeps us young. The same goes with the nervous system. The stronger our nervous system, the more we can maintain the strength in the nervous system, the younger we are able to stay. There's nothing more age-defying than a super strong nervous system. Good, keep it going, keep the navel strong, keep the eyes up and into the third eye point. You can do it, you're doing really well, stay with it. That's it, work to your maximum stretch. Feel that stretch in the hamstrings, feel them start to get more flexible, feel them start to open up in the backs of the legs. Come into the center now, deep inhale. Hold the breath, squeezing more buns, strengthen, lengthening tall through the spine, lengthen, stretch up, hold. Exhale, bring your hands out behind you and just relax. Let the legs relax. Let the breath settle. Keeping the eyes at the third eye. Feeling the heartbeat. And take a deep inhale. Exhaling fully. Now we're gonna bring the heels of our hands onto our temples. So you're holding onto your head. Your legs are still extended. You're keeping your legs out straight. You might need to uh, sit up on a cushion for this one if you, if you find it hard to sit up tall with the legs extended. So we've got our elbows out to the sides and we're inhaling, twisting left, exhaling, twisting right. Inhaling left, exhaling right. Good, keep the navel strong. You want to really support the lower back with your uh, strong core muscles for this exercise. 
feel as if you're squeezing the hemispheres of the skull together, squeezing the hemispheres of the brain together. Really getting the skull in a vice lock. That's it, you're doing really well. Twisting up through the spine, keep that engagement through the navel. Pressure on the hemispheres of the brain, pressure on the temples. That's it, you're doing really well. 15 more seconds, you can do it. Move that energy. Enjoy the alchemy of today's Kundalini Yoga Kriya. And come into the center, deep inhale. Hold the breath, squeeze more bond, lift tall through the spine, stretch up. And exhale, relax the hands down to the floor behind you. And again, just sinking back, supporting yourself with the arms. Just relax. Stay present with the movement of energy through the body. As we start to really clarify the nervous system, we start to clarify the brain and the mind. And we start to open up those nadis, those communicative channels of energy that flow from the spine, from the brain, through the spine, to all the extremities of the body. Deep inhale. Exhale fully. Now we're going to keep our legs extended straight out, keep them flexed. We've got our hands in yoga mudra behind us. We're going to be inhaling four sniffs as we drop the body down and lift the arms up and exhaling one sniff up. So it's inhale, 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 exhale all the way up. And you're lifting your yoga mudra as best you can, exhaling up. One, two, three, four, exhaling up. Good. This posture, this breath, this movement just helps to shift the energy up the spine. It helps to shift the energy from the lower centers to the higher. Yoga mudra helps to relax and open up the shoulders. It's great for opening up Anahata Chakra. And it also comes into that four step breath that is very uh, beneficial for our neutral mind. That four step breath is very grounded and stable. It's a very stable rhythm for the mind. Now, inhaling all the way up. Hold that breath in, squeezing more band, lengthen tall through the spine, stretch. And exhale, relax and release. And again, bring the hands out behind you and just settle for a moment, feeling your way through this Kundalini Yoga Kriya with your awareness, just noticing the effects it's having on your state of being. feeling your way forward into the clarity this Kundalini Yoga Kriya offers. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, drop the chin to the chest. Open the eyes to gaze softly down at the lap and come all the way up to standing. Now we're going to be standing as if we're sitting on a chair. So you want to bend your knees, and if this is not right for your knees, if this is too strong for your knees, then obviously come up straight with the legs straight, just have a micro bend in the knees. So be careful of your knees. We're gonna do the same movement with the arms. So it's inhaling up four times and exhaling down. That's it. That's it. You're going to feel this really strong in the thighs. Let that uh, pressure build in the knees. It's great for building up strength in the knees and the thighs. It's great for balancing magnesium and calcium in the body. Keep it going. Not for much longer. You're nearly there. That's it. Now take a deep inhale. 
Lift the arm up, bend forward, rest your belly on your thighs, hold it, squeeze, and exhale, relax and release, and come all the way down to sitting in easy pose or however feels comfortable, hands in Gyan Mudra on the knees. And just allow that energy to settle. You'll feel that in the heart. You'll feel it perhaps in a slightly raggedy breath. Just observe, just be present, feel it. Feel that strength in the thighs, in the knees. Inhale deep. Exhale fully. Take another deep inhale. And exhale. Good. Now we're going to extend our right leg straight out. Tuck the left foot into the groin. Hands on either side of that right knee so you're really extending along that leg. Take a deep inhale to lengthen. Exhale forward, folding forward, folding down, leading with the heart towards the foot. Bringing the hands onto the knee, onto the shin, onto the big toes if you can reach them. And it's a long, slow, deep breath here. The eyes are rolled up and into the third eye point. And you're breathing into the back of the leg. You're breathing into the inner thigh. Wherever you're feeling this stretch is where you're directing the prana. So this is helping us to really activate and strengthen the nervous system. We're making the nervous system more flexible with today's Kundalini Yoga practice. So the deeper you can breathe, the deeper you can stay right on the edge of that comfort zone of the stretch, the better this practice will be for you today. Long, slow, deep breaths. Eyes rolled up and into the third eye. Right on the very edge of that comfort zone of the stretch. Taking a deep inhale. Holding and squeezing through Mulband, allowing that length through the spine, allowing that maximum drop into the stretch. Hold it and exhale, relax, release as you walk your hands up the leg and we'll shift sides now. So the left leg is extended, hands on either side of that knee, twisting around and taking a deep inhale to lengthen the spine, exhale, folding forward, folding down, grabbing onto wherever feels comfortable, and it's a long, slow, deep breath here. Again, being aware of where you're feeling this posture, where you're feeling that stretch, so in the back of the leg perhaps, in the inner thigh perhaps, and directing all of the prana there. So with every inhale, you're directing it into the back of the leg, you're directing it into the inner thigh. With every inhale, you might want to lengthen a little taller through the spine, a little longer through the spine. And with every exhale, you might notice a millimeter of space that you can move into. So we're working with the breath to lengthen and to deepen this stretch, to strengthen the nervous system, to strengthen the nerves. You're doing really well, eyes at the third eye. Good, take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in, find your maximum stretch here, lengthening the spine, really um, opening the heart, holding it, squeezing it, squeezing Mulband. And exhale, gently walking your hands back up along the leg, coming back into your easy pose or however feels comfortable to sit. Hands to Gyan Mudra on the knees and just relaxing, just feeling your way with your awareness into this clarity, into this lightness of being that's opening up through your Kundalini Yoga practice today. Starting to really refine, clarify, open up the nervous system. And the reason we work with the nervous system in Kundalini Yoga is because 
we need a strong nervous system when kundalini arises which it does in every single kriya and it does especially in this next little part of today's kundalini yoga kriya we have our hands interlace um, our arms crossed above the uh, in front of the chest nice comfortable position and we're going to inhale lift the buttocks off the floor exhale drop them down inhale up exhaling down so we're creating a nice steady massage on the base of the spine not only is this fantastic for the digestive system for the elimination of toxins in the digestive system on an energetic level it balances and grounds muladhara chakra and muladhara chakra is home of our kundalini and this kundalini energy is an energy of immense voltage immense wattage if you imagine the brightest light bulb a lightning bolt even that's the wattage that we're dealing with in kundalini and this wattage raises up through our practice. And as it raises up, it increases our awareness. It refines our being. It refines our consciousness. So we move into our enlightenment, which is essentially a recognition of who we really are. That's it. Keep it going. Just keep bouncing on the base of the spine, bouncing the buttocks on the floor. This is also really great for breaking up deposits in the backs of the legs, for releasing any residual toxicity from the intestines. That's it. And coming back down, taking a deep inhale, holding the breath, squeezing more bun, lifting up and exhaling, relaxing and releasing and bringing the hands into Pramudra at the heart center, bringing the thumbs as close to the sternum as you can. And here we're going to move into a long, slow, deep breath. And the slower and the deeper and the fuller we can breathe, the more prana we take into our nervous system, we take into the nadis, the 72,000 channels of energy that run through the body that communicate between our cells. And the more prana we take into those nadis, the lighter we become, the clearer we become, the stronger is our nervous system. And the more able we are to step up despite all the challenges that surround us in this very crazy time that we find ourselves in. Eyes rolled up and into the third eye to Ajna Chakra. The spine is long, the shoulders are relaxed, the chin tucks in, the heart lifts. And the breath is very long, very slow, and very deep. With every inhale, we want to take in as much prana as we possibly can. We want to fill our lungs from the base to the top. And with every exhale, we want to empty out completely any toxins, any carbon dioxide, in order to make way for fresh new prana. So your job right here is to breathe as slow and as full and as deep as you possibly can. like a sponge soaking up that fresh prana, that life force energy. With 
every breath becoming clearer and brighter and lighter. With every breath becoming more aware of the extraordinary light of your being. Taking a deep inhale now. Holding that breath in, squeezing more band, lengthening tall through the spine, raising that energy up, that shushumna, the energy highway of the body and the spine. Hold it, squeeze it, lift up tall. And exhale, relax and release, and we'll come all the way down to our Shavasana, our moment to integrate and really absorb all the energy that we've generated, all the healing that we've generated in today's Kundalini Yoga practice. So starfish yourself out, spread your arms out wide, spread your legs out wide, cover up with a blanket if you have one there. And just inviting the body to be so heavy on the earth, really inviting the body to relax completely. And we're relaxing and releasing the toes and the feet, the heels, the ankles. Relaxing and releasing calves and shins, knees and thighs. Relaxing and releasing the buttocks and groin, pelvis, pelvic floor. Relaxing and releasing the abdomen, the belly and solar plexus. Relaxing and releasing diaphragm, the ribs, the lungs, the heart. Relaxing and releasing shoulders and shoulder blades, upper back, middle back, lower back. Relax and release into the earth. Relaxing and releasing the upper arms and elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, fingers, thumbs. Relaxing and releasing neck and throat, jaw, teeth, tongue, lips, cheeks, nose, ears and eyes. Relaxing and releasing forehead and scalp, skull and brain. Relaxing and releasing the whole of the central nervous system. And we'll just rest here for a minute or so in silence as we invite the body to integrate this healing energy. So just let go. Just relax. gently starting to wriggle the toes, wriggle the fingers, rotate the wrists and the ankles in one direction and in the other direction, turning the head from left to right. Coming back to the center, inhaling, stretching the arms up above the head, pointing, flexing the feet. Exhaling, bringing the arms back down, inhaling right knee into the chest, exhaling it across the body to the left side as you turn the head in the opposite direction. Inhale to center, exhale down. Inhale the opposite knee into the chest, exhale across the body, turn the head, breathe into that twist. Inhale to center, exhale down. Inhale both knees to the chest, wrap the arms around the knees, rock from side to side, give yourself a big hug, gratitude, and then bring palms of hands together, soles of feet together, give them a good rub, generate some warmth. Tuck the hands into the creases behind the knees, rock forwards and back, up and down along the spine, coming all the way up to sitting in easy pose, hands in Gyan Mudra on the knees, the spine is tall, the shoulders are relaxed, the chin tucks in, the eyes are rolled up and into the third eye point. We'll bring our palms together in prayer mudra to close our practice with Sat Nam, taking a deep inhale to chant. Sat Nam 
bring the palms to the floor, allowing the forehead to follow as far as it will go, offering your gratitude to your body, mind and breath for bringing you to this Kundalini Yoga practice today and coming back whenever you feel ready. Satnam, thank you so much for joining me today. It's absolutely an honor to share with you. If you liked this uh, Kundalini Yoga Kriya, please do click like. Let me know how you got on in the comments and do subscribe if you'd like to see more. There's plenty more to share in the Kundalini Yoga Toolbox. Thank you, Satnam. Lots of love.